today I will start exercise 3.3 okay so let us start the first question the first question is how many digits are there in the square root of the following numbers okay how many digits are there uh, how many digits are there in the uh, there in the square root of the following numbers find the answers without actually finding the square root Okay, so in this uh, we have to find the uh, number of digits. You are given the number, and uh, when you find the square root of that number, then uh, it will have some digits. For example, uh, for example, uh, 64. So 64 is a number, and if you find the square root of 64, it will be 8. So the square root of 64 has one digit, that is 8. So here also uh, you have to find the number of digits without finding the without actually finding the square root. So there is a rule okay, for this. The rule is that in this, uh, if you have three digits, okay, if you have suppose if you have uh, even number of digits. For example, suppose uh, suppose a number 256. Okay, so this is. Uh, the number here and in this uh, you have uh, three digits one two three okay so here uh, the number of digits number of digits equal to three and this is odd okay so uh, the number of digits in the square root of two digits okay number of uh, digits in the square root of uh, 256 it will be equal to uh, here uh, n plus 1 by 2 here n is the number of digits here so what is n here 3 so 3 plus 1 by 2 that is 4 by 2 equal to 2 so uh, when the uh, number of digits is odd then you can use this formula to find the number of digits okay and when the number is uh, uh, even suppose the number 1 2 9 6 okay now it has uh, uh, 4 digits, okay, so here n equal to 4. So here, uh, number of digits, digits in the square root of 1, 2, 9, 6 equal to n by 2 simply, that is uh, 4 by 2 equal to 2. So this is the simple formula, and by using this uh, formula, you can find you can find the uh, you can find the uh, number of digits. Okay, so here in this uh, question number A, okay, question number A, uh, you have the number 841. Okay, the number is question number 1A, the number is 841. So uh, when you find the square root of this number, then in that square root, how many digits will be there without finding? Yes, you, you will write that n equal to 3. So this is odd. Okay, this is odd here. So you will write it that the uh, number of digits in the square root of 841 equal to n plus 1 by 2 that is 3 plus 1 by 2 equal to 4 by 2 equal to 2. Okay? So this is the answer of this question. Similarly, you can solve other questions also. I will also solve one more question, number B. So, 1B. Okay, in this question, uh, you have the number 97,344. And uh, so, here the number of digits equal to how much? 5. And this is again odd number. Okay, so this is odd here. So, the number of uh, digits in the in the square root in the square root of this number in the square root uh, root of 97344 is equal to n plus 1 by 2 that is 5 plus 1 by 2 equal to 6 by 2 equal to 3 so uh, when you find the square root of this number 97344 uh, you will get the number of digits is 3 ok so so these are the two questions and also you have other question here and you will find the answer in the other question so I, 
I explained you that you will remember these two formulas. Okay, that is when the number of digits in the given number is even, then you will use the formula n by two, and when the number of digits in the given number is odd, then you will use the formula n plus one by two. So from these two formulas, you can find the answer of other questions. So I did two questions, then the remaining questions are your homework. And question number two now, we have to find the square root of uh, the numbers. The first number is 729. So find the square root of 729 by using the division method. Okay. So the first question number two A is 729 and we have to find the uh, square root of this uh, by using the division method. So first write the number 729 and then make the pairs. Okay, pairs from the uh, right hand side. Okay. That is make pairs from this side and move on. So here you have one pair and then this is left alone. So then now start with this then putting this line like this and then this here. Now uh, what is the rule here first? Now you have 7 here. Okay? So it is 7, then now find that there are some numbers like uh, 0 square equal to 0, 1 square equal to 1, 2 square equal to uh, 4, and 3 square equal to 9, 4 square equal to 16 and so on. So now here we will take any of this which is suitable here because it is 7 here. So which number is close to 7? Here 0, 1, 4, 6, 9, 16 here. So see that 16 is bigger than 7. 9 is also bigger than 7, then here 4 is, uh, 4 is more than uh, 7. So here we will take 2 here. So it will go back to that right term here 2. Okay, 2 and here also 2. So and also here 2. Okay, this is the answer here 2 and uh, here 2 to here 4. So right here 4. Okay, so this and then here add 2 and 2, it is 4. Okay, also write this 4 here. Now uh, 2 plus 2, 4 and 2 to here 4 here, right? And then we have taken the number, we have used the number 2 here, so write in the answer 2 here. Next, now uh, subtract these two numbers, 7 plus 4 will be 3. Now bring the, uh, these two digits now, that is 2, 329. Now, now you have here 4, 4 here, okay? Now here again, now you write like this, that is you will write here that 4, 0, uh, 4, 0, okay? Here, uh, in this place we will write the digits like 0, 0, okay, like here 0 and then 0. So 40. Uh, into 0, it will be 0, okay, then again 41 into 1 equal to 41, then 42 into 2 equal to 84, then 42, uh, 43, okay, 3, 3, 9 and 12. So we will do uh, in this way, and then find which is suitable here, okay, so see here, uh, because you can find out, because you know that 8, 4 is 32, so it will not go by 8, but it will go by 7, let us see here that uh, 47 and 7 because it is this uh, for, uh, 4 0 that is 40 into 0 then 41 into 1 then 42 into 2 43 into 3 then 47 into 7 also right so 7 7 yeah, 49 then 4 so see here that is we have got this exact number here so it means that uh, this will go by 7 so here right 7 and here also 7 and 7 and then uh, the product will be written here, so 3, 2, 9, and then here is 0. So therefore, the square root of 729 is equal to uh, 27. Okay, so this is the method of finding the square root of a given number by the division method. Okay, so now the question number B. We have a question number B and find the square root of this number B. It is 22,500. Okay, 22,000. 500 and find the square root of this number and again uh, draw these lines and uh, write the answer here okay in this gap now again make the pair okay from the right side so this this are the two pairs and this is left here so this will go by here see that one square is one here two square is four this is larger so we will take this one square equal to one so this will go by one first okay right here one and here also one and then also also one okay then 1 1 the 1 here and 1 plus 1 here will be 2. Now uh, subtract here 2 minus 1 is 1 then write here 25 because in the square root we uh, take down the 2 digits. Okay? So here 2 and 5, uh, 2 and 5 comes here 
Next, uh, now here we will find this table number. Just like this, I told you that it's like 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. So here find out which number. See that it is 6 to the here. Okay. So 6 to the it will not be sufficient here. Uh, you can take 5. Okay. That is here 5. So it will be suitable here. 5. Then 5 also. Then you have 25 5 here. 125. Okay. Then here 0. Then again here 0 comes. That is 2 zeros will come here. All four zero, uh, zero will come and 25 plus 5 will be 30 here. Now it is 0, 0, 0. So uh, I can also 5 because here we have used 5 here. So 5. Next it is 0 here. So right here 0 and here also 0. So uh, 300 into 0 will be here then 0. So here the answer uh, remainder is 0 in this case. Now all the digits are used up. So the, the square root of this number is uh, 150. That is 2. So this is the answer of this question. So in this way you can find the square root of a given number by and these are the numbers which are the perfect squares. Okay? These are the numbers which are the perfect squares. So in this we have found the square root of these numbers. So you will uh, you will find this square root of other numbers. So I did two questions then others are your more. Number 3. In this question number 3 find the least number. Okay? In this question number 3, uh, find the least number uh, which must be subtracted from the following numbers to get the perfect squares. Least number which must be subtracted is the given numbers are not the perfect squares. Okay? And uh, then here we have to subtract some numbers from the given number so that the resulting numbers uh, the resulting number becomes a perfect square. So let us find out the question number B. Okay, first we will find the square root. Okay, 1200, 12,341. Uh, okay, the first number. Second number is this uh, 12,341. Uh, and we have to find the least number. So, first find out this square root uh, by the division method. Okay, so 12,341. And then find out the square root. Then again, take pairs and here 1. So this here, now it is 241, so again it will go by 1 here, so write 1 and also 1. So subtract this 1, 0, so this. So here uh, the remainder is 0 in this case and then we have got this. So here uh, 111, uh, okay. Uh, this is not this part of this number, but uh, we have got this remainder. So now what is the number which uh, we should subtract in this so that it will be a perfect square okay list number which must be subtracted from the following numbers to get the perfect square so now uh, we have got this so what does this mean here that is now 111 square okay when you find this square of this it will be less than 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Okay? Because uh, here we have found this number and then here the remainder is 20 here. So it means that when you square this, the square of 111 will be less than this given number 12341. So find out this square of this number, uh, then that will be the answer. So uh, 111 square will be how much? Equal to So find out them again, 1, 1, 1. one, two, three, two, one. Okay. The answer is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. So now see here, it is 1, 2, 3, 2, 1 and this is 12,340 here. So the least required case number equal to Number equal to this minus this. So this this 
see the answer that is uh, in this uh, or just uh, in this number, the value subtract 20 from this number, then uh, the resulting number will be uh, the resulting number will be the perfect square. Okay. So this is the that is the least number is 20. So when you subtract 20 from the given number, then the resulting number will be a perfect square. So here, when you subtract 20 uh, from this number, you will get uh, this number. That is 12,321. And this number is a perfect square because this is the square of uh, 111. So this is the answer okay, in this 20. So you can solve other questions also. Now, uh, that is the first question. So I did question number 3. And uh, question number A is your homework. Now, question number 4. Okay, find the smallest uh, 6 digit number which is a perfect square. Okay, which is a perfect square. Uh, find the smallest 6 digit number. So what is the smallest digit? Uh, first write the smallest 6 digit number. Smallest 6 digit uh, number equal to how much? 1 This is the smallest 6 digit number that is 1 line. Okay. Now find the uh, square root of 1 line. So you have the pair from this. So you have these uh, pairs here. 10, 0, 0 and 0, 0 here. So this 10 will go by. Uh, this time we go by 3, that is 3, 3, 9. So here write 3 and here 9, then subtract 1. And then again these two zeros will come here down and 3 plus 3 will be 6. That will go by 1 again. So write here 61, then 9 and 3. And again double 0 will come down and here add this and 6. So now 62 is here, then uh, for by what number this will go? 6, 6 is 36. So 6 is 36, 7 is 42. So it will go by 6. And here we will write here 1. And also here 6. So 6. Then 6 is 36. Then 3. So here the remainder is here 144. So now uh, we have to find the smallest 6 digit number. That is uh, 1 lakh. 1 lakh is not the one that is not the perfect square. Okay, so we have to find the bigger number. That is, uh, some bigger number uh, will be the uh, six-digit perfect square number. So here in this case, uh, you cannot subtract 144 from this. If you subtract 144 from this number, then you will get the uh, then you will get the other number. Okay, not this six-digit number. That will be the five-digit number. But here we will find the uh, Six digit number. So here uh, we have to find something like first uh, observe here that now you have 316. So the square of 316 is less than 1 lakh. Okay. Remember this? And uh, because uh, because 316 is not the square root of this number. Because here you have this number, so uh, the square of this must be less than this here. And next uh, uh, that is this number will uh, uh, if you take another number that is the next number that is six, uh, you have the number uh, 316 then what is the next number it will be 370 so uh, here it will be 370 and then square that is uh, this number one lakh lies between uh, these two numbers okay now find the square of this number okay find the square of this number so 370 This. See that here you have uh, 1 lakh 489. So here uh, the number is that is 317 uh, square equal to 1 lakh 489. Okay. So this is the number here. So the question is that we will find the smallest six digit number. So this is the answer. Okay. This is the uh, smallest six digit number which is the perfect square. Okay. So in this way we can find the answer of this question. 
So I, you understood this uh, question. So this is the smallest. This is the smallest signal. Okay. So the required. Smallest six digit number equal to one lakh four hundred eighty nine. Okay. So now question number. Now the next question is uh, question number five. Find the largest four digit number which is a uh, perfect square. Okay, the largest four digit number. So this will be easier because in this you have the largest four digit numbers. So first you write the largest four digit number. What is the largest four digit number? It is uh, the largest four digit number. Question number five. The largest. Four-digit number equal to this nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. So here you will find the uh, square root of this number. So find out the square root number of this number. So make pairs. So these are the two pairs. So this will go by what number? Eight hundred sixty-four and nine hundred eighty-one. So it will go by nine. So nine hundred eighty-one. Then right here eighty-one. Then uh, subtract the nine plus one is here eight, and uh, and again nine nine here. Then plus this nine plus nine eighty. So now by which number this will go? I think it will go by nine. Okay, one hundred eighty nine right here. Yeah, this will go by nine. So right here nine. So nine and nine. So it will be seventeen hundred one, then eight nine, and here one. So you have uh, the remainder is one hundred ninety eight. Okay. So the here portion is ninety nine, and the remainder is this. So the least therefore largest four digit perfect square. Number equal to minus one and eight. Okay, just subtract this, you will get the answer. That is nine eight zero one. Okay, this is the number, and this is the square of ninety nine. Okay, when you square ninety nine, you will get this number. So in this, uh, when you find the largest uh, largest uh, four digit number, which is a perfect square, then first find the square root of this number. Okay, and then. Uh, subtract this remainder from this given number, then that will be the answer. Okay, so this is the answer of this question. Now the next question is your homework. Okay, question number uh, question number six is your homework. And uh, because in this question number you have to find the uh, square root. Okay, I will just uh, explain you that you are given a square garden. Okay, a square garden garden has an area of seventy thousand two hundred twenty-five meters square. Okay, find the length of the garden. So in this, uh, you know the area of the square. Area of the square is equal to side square. So here you will find the square root of this number. Okay, and then you will find you will get the length of the garden. So you will solve this yourself. And then question number seven. In this question number seven, uh, there is a school, and in this school, uh, there are three thousand nine hundred sixty-nine students uh, standing rows. Okay. You are given the number of students, and if the number of rows is the same as the number of students in the each row, then find the number of rows. Okay. So let us solve this question. Question number seven. Question number seven is you have a number that is the number of students. Number of Squares is equal to uh, three thousand nine hundred sixty-nine. Okay, this is the total number of students in a school. And now here, uh, all these students are standing. Okay, 
and uh, they are standing in such a way that uh, that is the number of squares in each row is equal. Uh, you can say that suppose suppose there are some rows, okay, like one, two, three, you know what they're here, and then if there are three squares, okay, that there are three squares in uh, this row. Suppose there are three squares, then if there are three squares, then you have uh, three rows, okay, three rows here. That is here also three squares are there, and here also there are three squares here. So here also uh, we have some students. Okay, suppose uh, we don't know the uh, number of students in one row, but uh, suppose there are x students. Like here you have uh, x number of students here, then you have x rows here. So in this case, uh, here you can suppose let the number of students in each row equal to x. Okay. Uh, then the number of rows equal to x because it is given uh, because we are given that if there are x squares in a row then there are x rows also okay just like this if there are three squares in a row then there are three rows if there are five squares in a row then you will have five rows okay so here the number of rows equal to x. Then suppose you have here, like uh, I told you that suppose there are five squares, one, two, three, four, five. And also here you have one, two, three, four, five rows are there. So here five rows. Now see here that uh, you have five rows. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that is uh, here. here. I have one row, okay, more. So it just it is. Now you have here uh, five rows. One, two, three, four, five rows, and then uh, you have in each row there are five squares here. So uh, what is the total number of squares here? Really? That is five into five. So similarly here, suppose you have uh, in this side you have x squares, and here you have x rows. Then x into x will be the total number of students. So here x into x that is uh, this is equal to three nine six nine. This is given in the question. Then x square equal to this, then x equal to the square root of this number. So find this square of this number in the rough, that is 3, 9, 6, 9. So you can find by taking the pairs, it will be 6, 6, 36. Uh, 6 plus 6 is 12. Then 6 is 36, then right here 3. So 6, 9 will come here, then it will go by 3. So the answer is here 63. So here you will do this part in the rough, okay? Uh, so you will find the square of this number. So here you will write that the uh, find the number of rows here. Okay. So here you will write therefore uh, the number of rows equal to 63. That is there are uh, there are 63 rows. Like you know, one, two, if you count that one, two, three, four, five, and so on, you will have a total of 63 rows. And it means that if you have a total of 63 rows, then in each row the number of students will be 63. That is why 63 into 63 is equal to uh, the total number of students, that is 3969 rows, students. So this is the answer of this question. And uh, question number 8, uh, you will solve this question yourself, okay? And uh, then uh, question number 9 also you will do it yourself and then question number 10. Now question number 10, uh, there is a field. A field is in the shape of a right angle triangle. A field is in the shape of a right angle triangle with the two smaller sides 99 meter and 20 meter in length. Find the length of the hypotenuse of the right triangle with sides 99 meter and 20 meter. Okay. So in this question you will have to use the Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So I hope you would have studied the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, and the Pythagoras theorem uh, is applicable in the right triangles. Okay, right triangles. So if you have not studied this, then you will study in the uh, other chapters. Okay. So let us find out the answer of this question. Question number ten here. A uh, field is in the shape of a right triangle, okay? Like this. This is a right triangle, this is the angle triangle here. Suppose this is A, B, and C. And these are the two smaller sides because 
in the right triangle, the hypotenuse is the largest side of this triangle. Okay, so here uh, AC is the largest side, and these are the two smaller sides. And the value of these sides is how much here? Uh, 99 and 20. So suppose this is 99 centimeter, and this is 20 centimeter. So we have to find this AC here. So uh, here write that AB equal to 99 centimeter and uh, BC equal to 20 centimeter then I put it is AC equal to uh, AB square plus BC square and root. Okay, this is the uh, Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so here write the value of AB that is uh, 99 square plus 20 square. So find this will give you 9801 uh, plus this will be 400. So now add this you will get 10, 1 0 this number. Now find the square root of this number uh, 1201. So you can find the square root of this number in the rough 1201. How much will be? So pair make a pair here 1 1. 0, 0, 2, then you will go by 0, 1, 0. So here again 0, then 2, 0, 1. So here it will be 20 and 1. That is here the root of this will be equal to 100, uh, 101. Okay. So this is the root. So it means that uh, therefore here you will write that AC is equal to 1 and 1 centimeter. That is the length of the hypotenuse is equal to 101 centimeter. Okay, so this is the end of this uh, exercise. So now move on to this uh, next exercise. And in this exercise, uh, we will again uh, find this square root of some numbers, and then there are a couple of properties in this. So I just explain uh, before starting this. So the property is that suppose you have a b, okay. Then here AB root AB. So root AB is equal to uh, root A into root B. Okay. And other property is like A by B root. That is will be equal to root A by root B. So we will use these two properties uh, to solve uh, some questions in this exercise. Okay. So take the example for example the first question. Here the question number A. In this, you have uh, 64 into 289, and then find the value of this. So, how will you find the value of this? In this, now see that you have two numbers. Suppose this is A and this is B here. So, you will use this formula that is root A into root B. So, it will be uh, 64 root into 289 root. And then write the value of uh, this, uh, you know the, the square root, root of 64 is 8. So write here 8. Okay. And the square root of, uh, so here again, uh, this is the number 64 into 289 and under root here. And we have to find the value of this. So first uh, break this by using this formula that is root AB equal to root A into root B. And then here uh, split, okay, split this by using this property. So you can write this as root 64 into uh, root 289. Now find the square root of 64, this is 8 and the square root of 289 is equal to 17. If you don't know then you will find the square root in the rough and then write the value. So here it will be 17. Now multiply 17 and 8. It will be 136. So this is the answer of this question. And similarly, you can solve other questions also in this uh, question number one. Okay. So now I will solve question number two. Okay. Because one question is done here, then you can solve also other questions because all are similar and based on this property. Okay. These are the two properties here. I have not used this property, but now I am going to use this property in the question number uh, two. Evaluate the following. So here in this evaluation, I will do the question number B. Okay. So let us do question number B. This is uh, question number 
one. Okay, this is one A here. That question is for two B. So in this sir, the question is twelve point nine six divided by zero point zero one zero point zero one four four and root of this. Now see here that you have uh, this is A, this is B. So again use this formula that is root A by B equal to root A by root B. So you can write here. Uh, 12.96 uh, root by 0 0.0144. Uh, okay. Now uh, here you have some decimals also. So now how do you uh, remove the decimals? You can do the uh, decimals. You can convert uh, them into the uh, fractions. So. You can write this as by 100, okay? And you can write this as uh, 144 by 10,000, okay? So now again, see, you have these two. So again, you can split this here, that is going to be 1296 root by 100 root, and then again, it will be 144 uh, root by 10,000 root here. Okay, this is in the, like this, okay? Now, you will find the root of 1296. The root of 196 is how much? The root of 1296 will be 36. Okay, you will find, if you don't know, because uh, I, uh, that is here, I am learned all those things, then, so I can tell you that the root of this is 36. So, it will be 36 here. So, you will write 36. And the root of 100 is what? 10. So it will be 10. Then next, here you have 144. The root of 144 is 12. And the root of 10,000 will be here, 100. So you will write this. Now, next, it will be 36 by 10 into this 100 will go up and then it will be down here. So 12, 3, 36, and then this will cut here. So you have 10, 3, 30. So the answer of this question will be 30. So, in this way, you will find the value of these questions, okay? So, first you will uh, use this formula, okay, remember this uh, property, two properties like, uh, okay, I told you many times here. So, remember these properties and then uh, use these properties to find out the value, okay? So, now the question number, question number three. Now, in this question number three, uh, we have to find the square root of a given number, but these numbers are not the perfect squares. Okay? These are not the perfect squares. That is why here you will get the answer in decimals. And we will find the answer in decimals up to some decimal places and then we will stop. And in this question you are given that you have to find the square root of the given numbers up to uh, up to three decimal places. Okay, so we will find out the uh, square root up to three decimal places. So uh, let us find out how to do it. There are some rules to find this. So the first question is uh, three one. Three a here you have eleven. So we have find the root of eleven. So how will you find the root of eleven? So first uh, write the number 11 and because you know you are given the question that you have to find the square root up to 3 decimal places that is why here you will uh, write 6 pairs of zeros okay 1 pair then 2 pair and then 3 pair okay so now find this square root of this number it uh, will be larger okay so now here you have this that is 11 and uh, actually when you have this decimal then uh, before decimal that is here this is the whole number part and this is the uh, decimal part here so the rule is here that in the whole number part we make the pair from the right side okay and in this we make the pair from the uh, in, that is from left to right so here they are already here okay so here you have also a pair so then start this that is 3 3 and 9 first 3 3 are 9 so 3 3 are 9 then write here 9 then subtract then 2 
and three plus three, uh, three plus three will be six here, and uh, three three are nine. Now these two zeros will come down, right? Zero zero here. Now this will go by three. That is, if you write three here, then see that it will go three three are nine and six three are eighteen here. Okay. So now subtract nine plus one ten, and here one. Then again uh, two zeros will come. And here add three plus three is six here and six. And write here three also because we have used three here and here also three. So first number is three and second is three also. Uh, now what is this number here? It is eleven hundred. So now what number uh, we will use uh, to? Here is sixty six here. So see that six two here and six two here twelve. So if you write here two, that should be uh, you will get a number bigger than uh, this number. Okay, see two plus four. And six to the power one, well one. Then we will see that this is bigger than this, so two will, two is not stable here. So we will write here one. Okay, we will write here one, and then six. It is one. Then here six hundred sixty one into one will be six hundred sixty one. Then subtract, and here will be four. Okay. Now. Uh, because here we have taken these two zeros here and these two zeros here again, we have one more, uh, one more pair here. Bring down these two zeros here and here uh, one plus one is two, then six and six. Now find out uh, uh, by what number it will go. So it is uh, six six are thirty six and uh, seven six are forty two. But it will not go by seven because seven six are forty two is there. But if you add some number to forty two, it will be more than forty three. So I think it will go by uh, six. Okay. See here, that is six, six, two, and six. So this here, and if you add six, six, uh, two, seven, seven, then so this is bigger. Okay, so we, this will not go by this. Okay. So we will take this six. So I will use this, and we will also this. So this much. And uh, here I have not written the number. It's three here. The one and six. So three point two. Actually, the point three here because. Uh, After nine, we have this one here. So three point three one six. Three point three one six. So the answer of this will be that is uh, the answer of this will be equal to three point three one six up to three decimal places. Okay. So now we will find the root of six point three up to three decimal places here. Okay. So. Here the number is this. Then find out the root of this. So first write the number 6.3. Now it is 3 here. So we have to make uh, three pairs of zeros uh, after the decimal. So one number is already there. What is it? Then write here five zeros. So zero and double zero and then this. So you have uh, three pairs like one pair, two pair and three pair. So then find out the root of this. And this is six. So Six will go by two. That is two to the four. You know, two to the four. Then write here two. Then two and two. Two to the four. Write here and add here. Write here. So that's a fact. It is two. Then three zero will come down. Then now try what number will be here. So here it will be five. Okay, this will go by five. Here I have done in the copy. So you will uh, try yourself in the rough. Okay, that by which number it will go. So. Here it will be 225. So write here point and then put here five. So five plus five is here zero and then five. So here it will be five then only five. Then again double zero will come here. So now which number here? Because this is 500 here. So I need this 50 already there. If you write one one, then that will be 501. So it will go back zero. So here it will be zero zero zero. That is 500, and here also 500, and uh, here write zero. Then now you have double zeros more, so write this here. Now by which number this will go? This is 500, then it will go by nine. Okay, so this 
So here write 9, then it will be how much will be 45081? 45081. This much 4919. And we have to send it to add here. Okay, we have to stop now. Okay, 509 here. So we have already found the root of 6.3 up to 3 decimal places. And therefore, the answer will be here 6.3 root equal to uh, 2.509 okay so this is also because this uh, finding the root of this number will never stop so we have to stop somewhere and here in the question you are given that you have to find the root of the given number up to three decimal places so we will find up to three decimal places and then stop okay so this is the answer of this question and uh, other questions are there also C and D so you will do it yourself and that is your homework now question number uh, 4 is also your homework okay? because in this question uh, number 4 if the square of a number is 82.81 find the number so again here in this question you have to find the root of this number 82.81 so you will find the square root of this number and uh, you will get the answer okay? So that is the homework. Now question number 5. In question number 5, the area of the square plot of land is this much. Find the perimeter of the land. First area. Okay, what is the perimeter? Perimeter means the boundary length of the square. And uh, to find the perimeter of a square, you must know the side of the square. So first you will find the side of the square by using the given information. Because we are given the area of the plot. Uh, the area of the square plot of land is this. Actually, this uh, question is not correct actually. Okay, so here uh, it should not be root here. Okay, that is uh, in this question you will see that there is a root here. Okay, see here it is root. Okay, and this question is not correct. This root should not be there. If this is a root, then this will be uh, very complex. Okay, and uh, you, you can see in the PDF I uh, I have done this question uh, as in this question, but actually this is not correct. Okay. So here you will find you just think that there is no root here. Okay, so this question is not correct. So here if you remove this root, then that will be correct because you are given the the area of the square plot of land. Okay, the area is uh, one and three six square one six nine, and then you will find this square root here. So this is not correct, but I will show I will show you how to do it. area of square plot equal to 1 and 56 by 169 okay, meter square actually this should be the uh, question okay this should be the question here 1 and 56 by 169 this is the area of the plot and you can uh, find this into the fraction so this into this will be 169 plus this That is 225 by 169 meter square. Okay. Then find the side of the square. You know this is area of square. So side of square equal to area root here. So you have this area by 169 and then root. And then again use the property. It will be this and then and it will be equal to 15 and by 13 so this is the side of this square then the what is the perimeter of the square equal to uh, 4 into side equal to 4 into 15 by 13 equal to 60 by 13 equal to So 4 and 8 by 13 is the answer of this question. Okay, you can see the answer and that is the answer I think. So it is 3.4. Yes, it is the answer. Okay. 
So, so this is the answer of this question number five. I get this. And uh, again, question number six is uh, you have to find the uh, square root of this number by up to uh, three decimal places. Okay. And this is the question. This is the uh, same question as the question number uh, question number three. Okay. So you will uh, solve this question yourself. That is your homework. And uh, next question is your number seven. Okay. In question number seven. The base and altitude of a right angle triangle are 18 and 17. Then find the measure of the hypotenuse. Uh, correct up to three decimal places here. So again, here we will use the uh, Pythagoras theorem. The base and altitude of the right angle, right angle triangle are base and altitude. Okay. So right, uh, there is a triangle like this. Draw the perpendicular A, B, C, D. And uh, the base is 18 centimeter. So take this as 18 centimeter. And this is the altitude. Altitude A is equal to 15 centimeter. This. Then uh, find the measure of the hypotenuse correct up to three decimal places. So we have to draw the figure like uh, not correct figure. This will be like this ABC. Okay, and then you have this uh, attitude, and you can take anything like this it is it's a little, and this is. 15 centimeter, then we have to find this AC here. So, what is AC equal to here? AC is equal to uh, AB square plus BC square root, and this is Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so AB square will be 15 square plus 18 square and uh, it will be 225 plus uh, 324 now this and this is not a perfect square so you will get the answer in uh, decimal okay so you will find out the root of this number and then you will solve this question okay so you will find the root of this or uh, you have to do this number, okay, 549 and find the root of this number. So it will be in decimals. And we have to find the answer in decimals. So up to three decimal places. So find the root of this and then see that it will be the, I will find it, 549 and then 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, okay. We have to put here 3, 0 here. So now find the root of this. This is the root one, okay? So one, two, three, and then this also. So you have a root here, four. Four here, four here. That will be one, and again four nine. Then here, it will go by three. So zero, two, then double zero will come here, then point. 46 here and 4 4 4 yeah, and it will go by 4 so 4 4 yeah, 16 so this much then again double 0 will come then here uh, it will go by again 4 4 yeah, 16 so it will go by 3 Right here, three. So three real nine. So again, double zero will come here. So three plus three six four and it will go by seven. Okay. 
So the answer would be this much, that is 23.437. So here, 23.437 is the centimeter approximately, say up to uh, three decimal places. Okay. So this is the answer of this question. Then this, uh, now this is the end of this exercise. Okay. So you have last question eight, and in this uh, you have. Uh, the root of this number is given, then find the root of the following. Okay, so now it is finished. Now we have the cubes. Okay, okay. So this is the uh, end of this exercise. Okay, and uh, I have left many questions. So all those questions are your homework. Okay. So and in the next class I will start uh, cubes. Okay, in this you have the cubes and the cube roots. And so here you have uh, two more exercises. Actually you have only one. Okay. The 3.6 is very uh, in the question, in the exercise 3.6 you have to use the tables. Okay, so exercise 3.3 is very important. So I will cover this in the next class. Okay, so thank you for watching now.